Hi, welcome to Review Number 17 with me Liam on King's Vape Reviews. Today we're going to be having a look at a different selection of juice that was sent for the purpose of review from Juice and Coils. A big thanks to Daniel for getting these out to me for the purpose of the review. Thanks very much mate, look forward to doing more for you. So I, I have nine different bottles. Also with this, he sent me over some cotton to try it, that he's planning on getting in to stock. And I have to say, I've tried some of this here in the past few days and I'm very impressed by it. With it, it's very, very thick, very quilted. So it is very absorbent, holds a fair amount of liquid on it. Haven't had a dry head out of it. One of the things that I did do, I was vaping, I've tried, which I don't usually do, I've tried a few of these to see what they were like because I've been getting all bigger bottles. Well, uh, 50, 60 mil bottles. 50 ml of juice, add a 10 ml neck set, brings it up to 60 ml juice. So I have them all nicked up, ready to vape. And one of the ones that I tried the other night was blackjack. But whenever I lifted it, I lifted up. I also had this blackjack and another one, Taste the Rainbow. Uh, taste the rainbow on one e sig, blackjack on another, and I lift it up the wrong one and put some blackjack in and have a taste the rainbow. You couldn't really taste the difference. You could taste the blackjack. And then I tweaked on to what it done by lifting up the other one. You'll see the difference in a minute. I lifted up the e sig that had got the blackjack in it. Tasted it, knew it was the blackjack. I realised what it done. So then I vaped it dry and went back to putting the taste of rainbow in it. And as weird as it may sound, they're two very different flavours. But with it, whenever I tried it, you couldn't taste the two of them mixed. It didn't didn't retain the flavour. So I have a lot of different devices in that all set up. It started with Cheeky Vimto number 121. With these juices, he has what nine different categories, 57 different flavors, and nine different categories. Category one is drinks, so that's number 100. Number 200, menthol. Number 300, sweets. 400 fruits, 500 dairy, 600 desserts, which there seems to be a lot of, 700 is slush, 800 is haze, 900 is frozen. He says that he's going to be sending out some more of the new custards. Custards is my number one. All day vape, I love my custard. So he's told me he's going to send me a few different custards. I see he has a just custard, banana custard, and cinnamon custard. I love cinnamon as well, so I'm looking forward to try the cinnamon custard. With these, knowing you'll notice I'm using a regulated device, I always I think every one of these that I've done so far have all been on max. This one I'm doing a regulated, some of them have tanks on them.
tastes just like the fruit juice, so it does. The blackberries, raspberries. It's a nice sweet taste on it. Leaves a nice sweet aftertaste on the tongue. Really nice. That was one of my favourites that I did try. So then up next we we'll have Black Mantle. How I did get into these was that I got them on flu just after Christmas. And I was thinking of the mantles, what would I use? And this was the one that I came across, Black Mantle. So I tried that. It did help, paired me up a good bit. But then I realised I'm not a mantle fan, so I'm not usually. But I realised that it was a nice vape. And I'd done quite a bit of it. So I did, and realised to myself that I would needed to get the reviews done before I vaped them all. So when I started swapping it up, taking a Taste the different ones. Open the airflow, it might help. Gives you a real cooling effect, so it does. Clears the airways, and you can breathe clearly through the nose now. So black current I getting out of it with the cooling effect of the mantle. As you can see, they all produce the vapor. Every one of them has been the same so far that I've tasted. None of them has been lacking in the flavor department. Another really good one. Can't really go into the flavours in depth. Because it is what it says on the tin. So to speak. So then next up, uh, there we go, Blackjack 325. This is what it did have it on. Stealing the steel being. The game won't or version one. Well. Just getting that real licorice taste as soon as you're taking it in heel, taste the licorice skin in. This is from the Sweet Range. It's a blackjack. So the black mantle was from the mantle range, obviously. Blackjack's from the Sweet Range. Tastes just like the sweets. Like having a sweet in your mouth. Next up, we have this is the one that I had said me say the, the blackjack. So I got them mixed up whenever I was putting them in. Taste the rainbow number 333. Yep. And 
as you can see, completely different color. So there's just a mix up because they were all sitting beside each other, didn't know which was which. Best way to describe this one, like a mouthful of Skittles. Really, really nice. All the different fruit flavors in your mouth all at once. And again, this is some of the cotton. That he had sent to me for the purpose of the review. This is new stuff that he's intend getting into the shop. Plumes of vapor. So next up we we'll have Bananarama. That one's hard to read, even up close looking at it by the eye. That's at number 300, sorry, 471. This one's in the tank Kaden. This one of the lot of one of the ones where I wasn't sure whether I'd like it or not, but pleasantly surprised. Thought it was very nice. Just I've had bananas in the past and they can taste a bit like sick. So they kind of watch them here anyway. Some have tasted like sick. But this one most certainly doesn't. At the start I was telling myself it tasted a bit like a, the sweets, the foam sweets that you used to get. Back in the day, what was it, 2p or something for the foam bananas, sweetie banana. But over the past few days that I've been vaping it and telling myself it's not, it's more like a ripened banana. Real nice fruity flavour. With these coils, different coils in them. This one reading at 0.25, reading at 65 watts, what's that, 4.01 volts. No other way to describe it than it's like a red banana, so it is really, really nice. I think it's the one that I have vaped the most of. Between that and the black mantle. Black mantle was a cure for the cold. It's hard to see it there, but you can see it by the air. But off a bottle of the black mantle away. So Bananarama, I think it's number one. So far, Bananarama is the winner for me. Taste the rainbow, I was going to say black mantle, but it was more for a cold. We're not, not a big mantle lover. Taste the rainbow, it would be number two. Black mantle, three. Vento 4, Blackjacks 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, number 6, this one's bubblegum, wasn't really looking for the bubblegum, with the bubblegum, I haven't tried it yet, so see what it's like. Not really a fun. <coughs> Get the squeaky voice away. It's 
it's hard to pick what chewing gum it tastes like. It isn't bad, but not really my cup of tea, so it's not. Yeah, but that'll be in the last part so far. Strawberry milkshake number 547. This one, once I shake the cold, I think this was one of the first ones that I went for because I love the smell of it. Best way to describe this is like a McDonald's strawberry milkshake. Coils. Coils are all mainly my own coils that I've made. Most of them being Fuse Clapton's. Well, they're my personal favourites. Them coils in the Apocalypse on the rope. They were coils that came from Seiko Builds. Chris Tate. And they're a plain set of coils. One of the best sets that I've had, including the young. He puts me to shame. But again, that's just me making coils myself in the house. Do I say Chris is a hell of a lot more experienced than me? But really nice set of coils. This one, uh, Blue Slush. Number seven, seven eleven. Just like a blue slicey. Not overpowering in the flavour. Could be the coils or anything else. Flavours really are. They're all fused Clapton's that I've been using, even in the tanks. Usually fused Clapton's going to them as well. Now moving on to the last one. Haze and blood. E T six. Again, remember this is most of them have all been the same cotton. So that this stuff at the minute as far as I know, it's unnamed. So you sent it out to me to give my opinion of it, see what I thought of it. But I have to say I'm very impressed with it. I like the fact that coming with such a strong flavour from blackjacks to skittles, two completely opposites, and it handled it where it wasn't a mixture of the two flavours. As you can see, all my reviews that I've done, I don't, I don't put one flavour on top of the other. Everything's a, a fresh work. Let them have fresh builds. And if not, then they're just dry burns. But then it's a fresh work into them all for each flavour. Every one of them that I do. There are seven or what? Nine different flavours in front of me now. They all have nine different works.
don't know what I'm getting the flavour away, isn't that? Licorice, like a blackjack. Like a blackjack with mantle. As I told you, I'm not really a mantle fan, but none of them have been to the stage where I could say that I can't feel about them. The bubble gum is definitely the least favourite, and then for me, it would be in reverse order of bubble gum, haze and blood, blue slice. Cheeky Vimto What was that? Strawberry Milkshake Black Mantle No Blackjack, Black Mantle Taste the Rainbow and Bananarama Bananarama is definitely a winner for me I've had too many mantles or what, but sort of way hitting the chest a bit. You can feel the mantle kicking into it. Couldn't be doing too much of that one. Too heavy on the chest for me. So going back to Bananarama, the number one, while we're finishing up. The Bourbon Lovely Juice, I'm going to be putting links down in the description of Facebook, Instagram, website, where these are all available. These are made up stronger to allow for the extra 10 mils to get added to it. So he suggests that even if you don't, if you wanted it zero milligram, to top it up a VG, PG, do whatever you're liking. If it was me, and I was topping it up on its own, it would just be pure VG. So with it, the bottles come as the 60 ml bottle with 50 ml of juice, with 10 ml allowance for the next shots to get added to it, and they're all priced at 650. So they are. That's a giveaway price. The next shots are a pound of gold. So really you're getting 60 ml of juice. If you want it at 3 milligram, it's going to be 750. So it's one next shot to bring it up to 3 milligram. Two next shots to bring it up to 6 milligram. So for 6 milligrams, it's 850. The juice will all come at zero milligram. If you added one next shot to bring it up to three milligram, that's 750 for 60 ml of juice. Or if you're going for the 60 ml, or if you're going for the six milligram, that's bringing your price up to 850. That'll be two next shots, so that'll be 70 ml of juice. But I'll have all the links down in the description for Facebook, Instagram and the website, so have a wee check at it. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that's King's Vape Reviews, and if you'd be so kind, give a wee thumbs up if you liked the video, and if while you're at it, if you could also subscribe to Pro Vapors YouTube Reviews, we would very much appreciate it. Thanks very much for watching, bye.